Hello, today I am going to explain what are tables and what are views. Tables are places where information are stored. Informations are stored in tables. On the other hand, views are uh, 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 explains how do you see those informations. So, informations are stored in tables, so I'm here and I can go here and with the right click I can have multiple tables and I, uh, Microsoft Project have multiple tables. For example, this is entry. In entry I have informations, task mode, task name, duration, start, finish, predecessor resource names, but also other which are stored in tables. So I can, let's say, choose work. Okay, and I can see a work for a summary task for each and every task. I can ha have a cost. Okay, cost. Great, now I can see, I can modify this view by, uh, by meaning that when I choose fields, what I want to see, or I want to hide, like here, hide column, I can do it choosing fields which are in particular table. Views are how, are, how am I going to see those informations which are stored in my example, right click here, entry table. So you can see that I am now here in Gantt chart. Here is the view. If I right click here, I can choose between multiple uh, views which I have. And I am not going to cover each and every of them. Most important will be covered in separate video. For now, I'm here in Gen chart and I'm looking at entry table. Now, <coughs> let's say that I want task usage view. I'm going to use task usage here, okay. Here's just some of them. If I go to more views, I can choose between a lot of, you can see a lot of views. But I will now say, okay, I, I will choose here task usage view. Okay, task usage view, on the other hand, will show me different uh, uh, information, different view for the same information which is entry table. So you can see that I have no here Gantt bars. I see hours which are supposed to be worked for a task and for a particular task. So phase one development is supposed to be uh, uh, to have 24 hours at this Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, eight hours for Mary, eight hours for Ellen, eight hours for Nana. Of course, if I want to see costs, I can go here, I can choose costs. Now you will see that in task usage, I see fixed cost for each and every task and for each and every resource. And I can see the total cost for the whole project. Okay, okay, here it is. I can see the total cost for phase one, the total cost for phase one design, and the total cost for John, who is going to work uh, uh, on phase one design. To be more, more precise, when I go to phase one develop, uh, the development, the total cost will be $56,000, but it is, it is built from $28,000 from Mary, $22,400 from John, and $5,000 for Nana. If I apply cost here, you, which you can see on a Gantt chart view, I can go here, right click here, I will use Gantt chart, I will he go here, I will use cost, and you will see that I have same information, but he, since we are looking at Gantt chart view, I have no resources here. So I can see the total cost for phase one, the total cost for 
each and every task in phase one, but I can see no resources. Let me go here and let me go to view and uh, uh, I, I will try to find here resource usage view. Okay, so resource usage view is here and here you can see, I will now, uh, uh, I will now close that. Okay, I will go to resource usage view. Here it is. I will close view bar. Okay, and you can see that then in resource usage view. Okay, I should go to that particular task, and I will go to uh, to find the scroll to task which, which is here. I can see different kind of view. In task usage view, I had tasks. And under each and every task, I had resources. Here, I can see resource and I can see all tasks which belong to that resource. And I can see work here and resource name. Can I add a table, uh, a column? Yes, of course, I can put cost here. Okay, so let's put cost. So I will see that uh, John is supposed uh, to spend uh, in total 152 hours and his uh, total cost for all the work on all tasks is going to be $91,200 which is uh, compound from uh, four tasks and each of uh, every task will have different work and diff uh, maybe different work and different uh, different uh, cost. Now I can here apply cost as well. Okay, so I will see now the same cost table, but in different view. I will see John and all his tasks and all uh, uh, his costs. If I now change, now let's go here and say, I will use task usage view. I will have cost table for, uh, for task usage view. And I see the cost table in different view, so uh, in different way. So here in task usage view, I see cost table, which is, uh, uh, let's say, uh, uh, composed, uh, which is here in a structure, which is structured in tasks, under task resources. So I can see the total amount of, uh, uh, of tasks and uh, the, uh, the total amount of, for each resources, which belong to that task. On the other hand, once again, I'm going to say I want to see ta uh, resource usage, more views here or here, resource usage. Here I will see resource and resource. I will see different, uh, 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 I will see all tasks which belong to resource. But I'm looking at the same table cost. Let's switch to work. Okay, I will say work. Now, in resource usage, I can see that John is supposed to work in total 152 hours, but for phase one, 48, for phase two design, 32, for phase three design, 24, and for phase four design, 48. Okay, if I now go back to task usage view, okay, I will be on the cost table and I will explain it in a minute. And if I go now to work, I will see that for phase one, we need 280 hours. And let's say for phase one de de development, I, I need 168 hours. But in this case, I will have that I need for this total hours for the whole task, I will need 56 hours from Mary, 56 hours from Ellen and 56 hours from Nenad. Now, let me explain something uh, uh, here. I will go here to task usage view. Okay, this is task usage. I will going to say I need resource usage view and I will apply entry here as well. And I'm going to use now Gantt chart and I will going to apply entry. Now, be aware, when you change a table. Let's say I want to see, I want to see work in a Gantt chart view. So I want to see for each and every task, I want to see, uh, 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 I want to see work. I will go here, I will choose work. And I see that for phase one, I have 
48 hours for phase one de uh, design, uh, 48 hours for phase one development, I will have, one, uh, I need 168 hours and for testing 64 hours and for milestone uh, zero hours, etc., etc. So I don't see any resource here. Okay, now I choose work table, okay, work table in a gun chart. If I now switch a view, okay, I go to, let's say, resource usage view, I will be still on entry table. Why? Because, be aware, when you change a table in a view, it applies only to a view which you are looking at. So you can see, I now see, uh, I am now looking at Gantt chart and I choose work. If I go to task usage view or resource usage view, Maybe I want here, let's say costs, okay? Now, I will see costs for each resource in total and for each task under this resource. If I go back to Gantt chart, I will, still I will still look at the work table. So it is not automatically when you change a table, it applies only to a current view. Now let's go back to task usage view, okay? And if I go to task usage view, sorry, here, in a task usage view, I will have, where is it? Okay, I will here, uh, here have entry, and I can choose third table, like uh, say, let's say I want variance table. So I will see baseline start, baseline finish. I didn't uh, uh, create baseline for the start, uh, uh, variance and finish variance. Let me create a baseline, okay set baseline, set baseline, and I will say, okay, now I, I'm looking at the task usage view and I'm looking at variance table. If I go to Gantt chart view, I'm looking at the work table. If I go, you can see baseline here, and if I go finally at the third view, I will, be, uh, uh, I will choose it from here, and this is resource usage view, I will look, I am looking cost table. So basically, once again, to make a quick recap, view is how you are looking at the information. Table is what information are you looking at? Uh, let me rephrase it. Table is what information do you want to look at? View is how do you want to see those information? So once again, here I am at, 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 at cost. Let's see work here. Work here is resource and resource all tasks. So total amount of work for resource and here under, uh, under a particular resource work for each task. This is resource usage. If I go to, let's say to task usage and I uh, see I, I want work, I will see the same work table in different way. Now, uh, unlike at uh, resource usage view, I will see in task usage view task and the total amount of work for task and under under that uh, task, under each and every task, I will see who is going to work how many hours. And on Gantt chart, I will have a total, I have to change it, here it is work, I will have a total uh, uh, amount of work for each and every task, but I will not see uh, any resource. Those was shown only three views, Gantt chart, task usage, resource usage. But I can see, for example, resource sheet here. I will see here, John, type of work, etc., etc. If I go here and I say, I want to see cost, I will see that John on this project will cost me uh, $91,200 and I will see no tasks. Okay, what ca can I have here? Work as well. Okay, so I can see that he he did nothing, John Mary, because nothing was actually started, but John is supposed to work 152 hours, Mary 288, etc., etc. So at each and every view, you can choose which table do you want to see? So that is the uh, uh, basic difference between in, uh, tables and view. Tables is, is 
uh, tables are what are you looking at what do you want to see views are how do you want to see those informations and this is very helpful especially when you go deep to the in the project and when you go uh, to analyze it in deep i hope this helps thank you very much and see you soon